the latest device from Nevox, the APX. Oh my god. S2. So it's like the apex of vaping. Oh no, no, no. It's the I want to do the no, shh, shh, shh. It's the apex of vaping sequel. You do realize yeah. that I cut your bit out. No, cut you your bit out. This is my show. Yeah. I don't want you saying it when I can say it. I'll, I'll ask the editor to cut this bit and just have your bit. Good. Good. The latest device from Nebox. Nebox. <laughs> See, now you've destroyed it. The APX. The Apex. As to the Apex of Aping. Well, it is the Apex. Let, let's just carry on with the Apex from yeah. here on in. Let's drop down, take a look at what this device is all about. Available in six colors. We have green, black, gray, purple, red, and pink. The pod, if you pull it out, AJ, pull it out. The pod is side fill and disposable. It's available in two mil, 0.8 ohms and a 1.2 ohm. In the box, you're going to get the Apex S2, a 0.8 ohm pod, USB-C cable, user manual and warranty card. The pod's airflow is one of those 180 ro rotations. It's, it's, a, it's 180 rot... It's... it's do I have to rotate it 180 you, times to change the airflow? No, so we're to, saying. to adjust the well, airflow, you rotate it just like that. Just turn it once like that. 180 degrees. With adjustable airflow by rotating the pod. That's good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. yeah so with, with a rot with a rotation, you can have a very tight. No, do it on that one. You show them down there. You can have a very tight mouth to lung. Which one? Well, you can do it up there if you want. Or a restricted mouth to lung. So it depends really how tight you like your draw. Now, <laughs> look, if you like it tight, no one should snigger at that. I've got a snigger at it. And the pods <laughs> are cross-compatible across the Nevox range. No, I'm like a true professional. I'm going to try and carry on. You can't snigger about how tight it is. Just go back down. It was more that. So if you want, if you like it tighter, just turn it round. Yeah. Which is true of other things as well. Yeah. <laughs> if you prefer it tighter, you can just. I follow. <laughs> I follow. Yeah. So if if you want it slightly tighter, just turn it round. Yeah. So you've got the front and the rear. Just depends which way you like it. <laughs> no, carry on. We're professional. Where's your integrity? <laughs> It's here. It's here. So the pods are cross compatible across the range. So if you've seen any of the other Nevox devices, if you've already got like the Page Air, the Apex S1, obviously this one, the Apex S2, and the Apex C1, you can use the same pods throughout the range. The power on the device is a thousand milliamp hours, and that covers up to 30 watts max power. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the last device we saw was the Apex S1. And that was 500 milliamp hours. Obviously, with the S2, we've got 1,000 milliamp hours, which is double the capacity, but it's just marginally, marginally bigger. It's marginally it, taller. It's, Look how slender it's really it is. Really slender. It's really nice. A really nice hand feel as well. But I love um, like metal chassis devices, especially when they're small. Yeah. Something really elegant about it. Yeah. Well, the last one was a bit of a cloud beast as well so uh i'd love to see what you think of the apex wow okay it's just, i'm just trying to figure out which way around which oh that's restricted yeah i'm gonna go for wider okay do you know they're both they're both tight to be fair, but I mean, look at the kind of device. It's just going to be a mouth to lung device. Yeah, very much mouth to lung focused. One's going to give you just that little bit more of an airy vape. I think what you're really looking nice. at really is the difference between like a roll up cigarette and I a mean, pre made. You can hear the difference. That's obviously the title version. This is more open. Really good. Really great flavor from that pod. What are we on the 0.8 ohm? APX S1 pod. Yeah, it's, um, it's kind of crossover, isn't it? 0.8, I think, 
to some extent you can get away with a 70 30 providing you're not straight on for your next draw yeah you know, allow uh, yeah. the coil to cool down warm it up again but um, i mean truthfully this is 65 35s and 50 50s that's it that's you, that's yeah. your perfect range and um it's a nice it's a nice warm vape uh, which you, you tend to like with those kind of nick salty liquids but the flavor is full it's a big flavor pod i, I want to swap it over I, i'm going to try a bit of go for a bit of purpley color and the actual mod itself really nice very premium it's very impressive but nevox have been have been good haven't they, they um, i um immediately noticed that you've put in your favorite flavor obviously yeah so i was thinking yeah oh caramel tobacco that would be nice no what i got was your favorite which is lemonade lemonade yeah it's just straight up lemonade yeah i mean you could have chosen anything yeah so i was setting them up or setting that pot up and i went to my desk and went or i could use my lemonade yeah uh which is my favorite so i did that the problem is yeah quite flavorful so a lot I, of flavor i'm getting a lot of zest right yeah, now yeah it's like a little zest slap around the face it's good isn't it little zest party it is good when you really want a lemonade <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and you weren't when you wanted a caramel tobacco oh is that because like, i told you i put a tobacco in oh that's that's because i said I i'll put your tobacco in so yeah yeah i know yeah, i didn't uh, lemonade slap around yeah the face. yeah sorry mm. i was gonna say Nevox have been hitting it out of the park with their pods. Um, we obviously we have the a the Apex S2 now, but just before Christmas we looked at the Feelin A2 or the Feelin 2, is it? Yeah. Feelin A2. Yeah, we had which is more sub ohm focused. Yeah. So a little bit bulkier as devices go. Obviously, you need that different pods, different battery capacity, screen. more power. So it's a more of a an advanced device. Like you say it's more sub ohmy, but the similarity is they are both incredibly premium from a brand that have kind of appeared quite yeah. relatively recently yeah they're and, making very uh, premium so devices they've, they've kind of separated so you've got the feeling range yep. which is really cloudy 70 30 low nicotine proper sub ohm yeah experience then you've got the more beginner device which is you want higher nicotine mouth to lung like a cigarette mm -hmm. um and and that's the apex kind of yeah. range of, of devices what they're doing with them is giving like a high-end slender high quality material yeah. feel to beginner vapors yep. um, and to be honest someone like us that carries a borrowed device that's quite expensive this is a second carry is perfect, perfect. yeah i really 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 enjoy it um i can't get over how premium the actual mod feels i know i've probably said it like four or five times and that's because it's surprising Slip that in yours. Oh, you just oh, slipped it right I'll, in there. I'll drop that one back there. Did you slip it in the loose end or the tight end? I'm not sure. It, it's like it depends how you refer to it. You've got front and rear, so just rotate it to your preference, really. Which again, it's about simplicity. You're not touching wattage. You're not adjusting anything. You don't no. even have an airflow dial. No, it's literally just this way or that way. Yeah, that's yeah. it. So there's obviously some kind of smart mode going on. The mod itself says it's rated between 9 and 30 watts. So yeah. I imagine we're closer to the 30 mark, maybe 20. I, I don't actually believe currently there's any intention of giving you a pod no. for this that will go right up to that 30. No, it doesn't um, seem like it. Bear in mind that would be like a, a 0.4, a 0.3 coil head. Yeah. Um, and that's not currently available in the range. It's, it's phenomenal. If you're in the market for a second vape, something for the car something a bit more pocket friend, pocket friendly or if you're one of the many people that are now making the switch from disposals into a simple pod device you can't go wrong with something like this yeah it's it's purely aimed at those that just want maximum convenience yeah. the lazy vapor which let's face it we it's should me? all be lazy it's yeah. like ultimately i want the most convenient device there shouldn't be a massive hurdle into getting yeah. into this no. And the knowledge gap shouldn't be the thing that stops you, which is why devices like this are fantastic, especially if you've, like say, you've been a disposable user, say you've done your first month of smoke-free into January and you've been using a disposable vape to help you. Well done. Now look at something like this. 
You don't have to know anything else. Yeah, you I just think fill your pod up and away you go. In, in the vape space, there's so many different types of styles of devices. You've got disposables right at the very beginning. Then we go into pods like this which are simple to use then yeah. we go into pods with adjustable yep. elements to it whether it be power or airflow then <coughs> then you've got um pods that you can take the coil out and change the coil yourself then you've got mods which is like a tank device mm. with changeable coils and then right at the other end you've got build your own the whole kind of diy community yeah um and they can be just mechanical with no computer elements safeguarding you so they kind of stand in a very separate space and don't want to be connected really to the rest of the vape industry. Disposables aren't quite good enough to be a real vapor. Pods, well, you're not really a real vapor. So they're very standalone. So with devices like this, they're, they're the entry level. Mm -hmm. They're the device that you'll find in a vape store. Yeah. Uh, easily your first device. If not, it's the device to go from a disposable. Say you found your watermelon or your kiwi, or whatever it might be that you really like. Buy that in a 10 mil juice, drop it in a tank like this, and you've gone from disposable across to something that's far more affordable to run. Yeah, yeah. And you're not sacrificing any of that flavour or performance that you may have got from that, that the big notes that you get with disposables. And equally, for those vapours uh, from the kind of more experienced end, there's no, there's very little sacrifice in performance with something like this. That that was uh, a you smoke just have frame. to upstage everything I say. I just, and do, I, don't you? I needed to drop a, a big O into right, it because yeah. it was like whoa. O O H. Yeah. Can you do an H? No, I I, I can't do shapes. Otherwise, I'd no. I'd absolutely A P X that bad boy. Yeah. Oh, you've got all the check you out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that was good. Thanks. That was good. So we've thrown some shapes as well. We have, yeah. And at that point, that's where I'm going to end. Oh. Yeah, your A was clearly more... Yeah, you've upscaled me there. So that has been our look at the Nevox Apex S2. It is the apex of vaping. Right, before you get carried away, yeah. this is my part where I get to remind them of the last few things to do before everyone walks out the door. Uh -huh. Likes down there, mm -hmm. that way. Comments are down there. And then it's really important if you can make it rain for us and support the vape community <laughs> by, yeah, buying the community. Of, by buying one of these t-shirts. Yes. Make it rain. Yeah. We also have channel memberships. That's another way of making it rain. Yeah. And you get early access to the videos. And honestly, it's just nice to see some friendly faces there. Yeah, it'll be, uh, anywhere. Yeah. Uh, but of course, one important thing that we did find out about the FE Vape Show is that yeah. over 95% of our viewers are currently sat on the toilet. So make sure that you wipe, wash, and then, you know, leave a comment. Yeah. So, you know, you've had your 10 minutes, time's up, your partner's knocking at the door. Yeah. So make sure you wipe, wash, and uh, subscribe to the channel. As they say. <laughs> Bye, everyone.